Hello everyone, it's Benjamin Wara and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to make a high score in Unity. A high score is the best performance of a player in a certain game. For this, we're going to be using Player Preferences, which is a tool that lets us store units of information in our game. And even if we go out of the game and restart it, we will still have those units of information. Player Prefs work like a dictionary in any other programming language. It takes a key value and when you want to access that value, you can just call the key and it will return a value. Where the information gets stored depends on your device. I'm going to leave an image here if you want to see where the information is kept in your device. For this example, we're going to be using this program that I created, a simple main menu and then you enter the game. You know, you collect some dots as your score and the score keeps updating in the title above. You also have a return button, which basically does a segue to the main menu. This is basically a simulation of what would be in a game, a game over screen. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to go to the death screen, basically the game over script. And there we want to declare a player pref, player prefs, and we want to declare it as a set int. So basically this player pref will be an int and it will have a key value. So, so I'm going to call it high score and I'm going to assignate it the game score of that session. So basically when the game finishes, the game score will basically be the result of that session. So I want the game score to be equal to our player prefs which is basically going to store the information and now once we store the information we want to show it in the main menu and as you can see my main menu contains a canvas with a high score as a text so what I will need to do is basically do a mention do a variable in the main menu referring to the um, to the text so high score text and then we can go ahead and go to start and just say high score text is equal to is equal to high score is equal to high score plus player prefs dot get int because we were basically getting the mention that we created here so now if let's say we got a game score of two uh, we will be showing a value of two in the main menu so basically, let's just say this is a high score. So basically, we are recognizing that is this keyword. And then if we do that, we can just go ahead and save up, link the high score text in the inspector, and then just play. So now what we have here is basically a high score. And let's press start. And now if we move around, we can reunite, like, let's say two as a score and let's return, which is basically our game over. And as you can see, we have a high score of two. Now, if we start again and we get, um, uh, we score a one, we will get a high score of one. Now, of course, there's a problem with this. This is not actually the high score. This is only the game score of the last session. Now, the solution to this is basically create an if statement. So if we go to where we declared first the, the player pref, we can just go ahead and create an if statement and say that the game score, which in my case I named the variable this, is greater than the player prefs dot get int high score. Now if we place this here, we can just say that you will only substitute this game score if it's bigger. So now we can guarantee that's the high score. Now, you may be asking yourself, what if we didn't set this first? Well, what happens then is that this will return a default value, which in this case is zero. So it works out fine. So now if we play, we will be able to see that if we get a, a score of two and return, we will see a high score of two. And if we get a one here, we will get a high score of two. Also on top of that, because it's a player pref, we save the information. So if we restart the game, we will still have a high score of two. There you go. So anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the content, make sure to leave a like and also consider subscribing if you want to see content similar to this one. Anyways, guys, goodbye.